My name is Tom Warga. I am the lead designer, lead machinist at Force American Made, which is a sub-company of John Force Racing. So most of the parts we build are not reciprocating parts. So we don't build the crankshafts, rods, pistons, camshafts, but most of the other hard parts we build for the engines. Uh, our fab shop, they build our all of our chassis, funny cars, dragsters, headers for both cars. Um, we mount our own bodies here. Pretty, pretty much the only things we don't build in the fab shop are the bodies. Uh, everything else is built in-house. We have our own paint shop, our own sticker facility, so we can put our sponsor logos on. So we use three axis mills, five axis mills, uh, lathes with Y axis ability. Uh, we have two horizontal mills that do our cylinder heads and blocks uh, and a couple other components. Most of those parts that are built on the horizontals are fairly large pieces. A lot of the tooling in there is, is helical stuff. We start our cylinder heads from the billet piece of the material. It starts at about 110, 115 pounds and it ends up being about 36 pounds by the end of the day. We have quite a few Hercos that we use. Uh, started utilizing some of their high speed abilities this past season and that's kind of where we got involved with the helical end mills. We started using the five flu uh, for the particular application. Uh, it was a significant time saver and then we realized that we were getting about 600 minutes out of a cutter and we realized that we needed to utilize that more often. We started to hear that there was going to be a tool catalog from Mastercam and Mastercam is one of our partners so we started investigating that opportunity. Uh, once that is implemented, we've been able to utilize all of their end mill selections with very little hassle from trying to redesign the end mill in Mastercam and just be able to plug it in, play, and know that it, we're within 95% of what we need. So one of the greatest things that I've experienced through this whole past year and a half is flexibility. Um, we've asked for some specific tools to be made and typically the lead times that we found were beyond what we're capable of or what we needed. Uh, we went through obviously your helical uh, specialist division and had them built within a couple of weeks and that was a game changer for us. Dolan Tool is our industrial supplier for, that comes into the shop most often. Um, they are the helical distributor in our area um, and they've been instrumental in guiding us into different tools to use for some of our parts. They typically come in and you know, give, an, give us options to go through and it always ends up being that we end up with a special coming from Helical. All of that comes from Dolan's experience with them and knowing how quickly they can turn those parts around. One of the parts that we developed last year, um, we had a, a face milling operation that was taking a significant amount of time. It's in a, a 4000 series uh, material. And we just thought, well, let's just try this. Let's just take an HEV5 and go full depth cut and remove as much material as we can and see what happens. And sure enough, that ended up being about time savings of at least 25 minutes for that part. I said we were getting about 600 minutes easy out of that tool um, and that was removing a significant amount of material. Uh, that was kind of the moment when I, we started to utilize that type of concept on more parts. The first time I used the Machining Advisor Pro, <laughs> uh, we were experimenting and I thought we were going as fast as we could with this end mill and we were still having some issues with wear and Dolan came in and, and explained to me that the Machining Pro system was pretty good. Um, so I, I tried it. I went through the system and, and calculated it out, sold it the materials. And the numbers it spit out, I couldn't believe. I just couldn't understand that that was worked. So we plugged it into the machine and I hit start and walked away. Because I figured, well, the only thing that's going to happen is it'll break the end mill and I just won't have to watch it. Well, when the cycle finished, the end mill was still there, the chips were off the part, and the part was still cool, which all three of those things surprised us. So that's where we started to gain trust. 
in that system. Um, we use it all the time. For us, getting a part out as fast as we can is our, is our goal. And that was the biggest change for us, is it opened up an opportunity to finish a part faster than what we could have done it, built. what I would consider now an old fashioned. John Force Racing, they won 20 championships. John's won, I don't know how many races. So he demands a certain amount of quality out of his people, and he demands a huge amount of performance out of everything that we do. Uh, and that's part of the reason why the calculator for us was an interesting thing, because it made us push ourselves to, to learn something that we probably wouldn't have tried before. And that's one of the things that John really tries to ask his people to do, is not be afraid to try. You know, that, that's part of the reasons I, I love racing, is that most of the guys that are involved in racing, that's all they want to do is get better and learn and go faster.